Hello everybody and welcome back from the break. It's now my pleasure to introduce David from Soul Technologies who's going to give us a presentation on the development of the first commercial applications of Sky solar cells. As always, please do leave your questions for David in the chat and uh, I will come back at the end of the presentation and we will take these live. Okay, David, over to you. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for the organizers for inviting me to talk on this event. And uh, well, thank you for being here. And also thanks a lot to the speakers in front of me who actually talk quite a lot about uh, perovskite and also inkjet printing. So I will actually not really need to go through that in detail. I can focus on what I'm really mostly interested about uh, is about applications. So uh, I've been actually working on these slides yesterday, even at uh, 11 p.m. So I'm really, really hoping that you will enjoy it. And yeah, let's uh, get started. So maybe just a brief overview of what we are doing at Solar Technologies. So we are a company that actually was established uh, in 2014, and we decided to focus on uh, all printed, flexible perovskite photovoltaics uh, as the go-to technology for ourselves. Uh, as we believe that this will allow us to have, let's say, the broadest range of possible applications. And this is how we can really uh, valorize all the value propositions uh, that lie in perovskite materials. So we are actually growing quite fast. I'm, I'm really impressed. I joined the company five years ago. Uh, back then we were around 17 people and now we have more or less 70 people in total out of that. A lot of them are, are scientists and, and uh yeah, very smart people and we are actually over uh, 17 countries so we are also very international i would say intercontinental so actually a lot has passed since uh, and many things were happening since our last talk here in tech uh, actually one of the most important one uh, definitely in the history of our company is that we opened our pilot production line in may 21 and uh, this is really for us uh, a dream coming true going forward with the upscaling of, of perovskite technology. Uh, currently, we have a factory area of around uh, 5,000 square meters. And this production line that we have here, you see on the, on the bottom of the, the slide, this has a nominal capacity of uh, 40,000 square meters per year. This is what we can print. Now, if you convert it into uh, let's say megawatts is still kind of small. So currently with our efficiency of around one sun, efficiency of around 10%, it correlates to around four megawatt peaks. So it's still not a very large scale application. But for us, it's already enough to start targeting our first applications, which is the field of IoT. So just to give you a general idea of our roadmap. So this year, as I mentioned, we, we launched our pilot line and then we were focusing on the first demonstrators, first applications with our different kind of clients, mainly focusing in IoT. But we are, of course, uh, thinking that Perovskite has a very, very large potential market that we can address and we are working on other applications as well that I'm going to touch briefly uh, in my presentation today. So currently, uh, we are working with different partners to develop our products and implement them into different kinds of applications. And in the future, what we are looking for is to improve, of course, our throughput, our efficiency and stability, uh, and reducing the losses that are there in the production line. And eventually, uh, we are already working on uh, upscaling this technology further to what we call like a full capacity production line, which we are targeting to be above 700,000 square meter per year. Uh, and as well, right now we are focusing on IoT applications, which is, I would say, kind of the low hanging fruit for uh, perovskite uh, technology, but we are very much active uh, going in the direction of utility scale applications as well, which I believe will be uh, feasible in the coming years. So as I mentioned, we focus on, on IoT applications and this is what you see here is, is our currently the performance that we are able to offer. So you can see that for outdoor applications, there can be some, let's say, I would say outdoor IoT devices. If you look at, for example, asset tracking or, or remote applications, uh, there we are at one sound performance around 10% uh, efficiency. As I mentioned before, we have some devices that are better from the production line. So I think the record is above 12% already. Um, but really the, the main focus, I would say, is the low light indoor applications as 